scientists destroy 99% of cancer cells in the lab with vibrating molecules. Scientists discovered a remarkable way to destroy cancer cells, stimulating aminocyanin molecules with near-infrared light causes them to vibrate in sync enough to break apart the membranes of cancer cells. Aminocyanin molecules are already used in bioimaging as synthetic dyes, commonly used in low doses to detect cancer. They stay stable in water and are very good at attacking, at attaching themselves to the outside of the cells. The research team from Rice University, Texas A&M University and University of Texas said their approach is a marked improvement over other kind of cancer killer molecules machine previously developed called Faringa type motors, which could also break the structures of problematic cells. It's a whole new generation of molecular machines that we call molecular jack jackhammers, said chemist James Tour from Rice University when the results were published in December 2023. They are more than one million times faster in their mechanical motion than the former Faringa type motors, and they can be activated with near infrared light rather than visible light. The use of near infrared light is important because it enables scientists to get deeper into the body. Cancer in bones and organs could potentially be treated without needing surgery to get to the cancer growth. In tests on cultured lab grown cancer cells, the molecular jackhammer method scored a 99% hit rate that destroyed the cells. The approach was also tested on mice with melanoma tumors and half of the animals became cancer free. The structure and chemical properties of aminocyanin molecules mean they stay in sync with the right stimulus such as near infrared light and when in motion the electrons inside the molecules from what's known as plasmons act a co collectively vibrating entities that drive movement across the whole of the molecule. What needs to be highlighted is that we've discovered another explanation for how these molecules can work, said chemist Cicerone Ayala Orozco from Rice University. This is the first time a molecular plasmoid is utilized, utilized in this way to excite the whole molecule and to actually produce mechanical action used to achieve a particular goal, in this case, tearing apart cancer cell membranes. The plasmons have an arm on one side, helping to connect the molecules to the cancer cell membranes, while the movements of the vibration bash them apart. It's still early days for the research, but these initial findings are very promising. This is what the kind of straightforward biochemical technique that cancer cells would find it hard to evolve some sort of blockage against. And next, the researchers are looking at other types of molecules that can be used similarly. This study is about a different way to treat cancer using mechanical forces at the molecular scale, said Ayala Orozco. The research was published in Nature Chemistry. First earlier version of the article published December 2023. This is by David Neal on Science Alert. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.